Okay, I, I had to start recording again because what the... That's weird, I've never seen that spawn before and especially not the nether. Why did... how did... what? I, I swear, I did not put this up. I did not set this up. The chicken... That chicken is on fire. <laughs> that chicken... Um... Okay, so a mini zombie pig man spawned on a chicken in the nether? If anyone can explain that, please do, but uh, yeah, I just had to show that because that was weird. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so it's taken a while now, like at least an hour and a half, and I have been so lucky as to actually find a few uh, more skeletons in the meantime, and I got two well skeleton skulls. It happened in, in the, the... I was ambushed by two well skeletons right down here a moment ago, and somehow they dropped them. I am actually really surprised considering that we don't even have the, the looting sword yet. So that's three, two out of three, thankfully. Also, I have switched tactics slightly. Um, by the way, I also managed to spawn a bunch of mech, mech cubes, and I fought a ghast. Nothing big, but worth mentioning since I got loot from them. But I have looked up something on the internet and done this. This is one of the intersections uh, where four paths meet. And it turns out that if you expand the area like this, you actually have much better spawn rates. Especially if you have it you know, on two stories like so. So I have done that. I've done just that. And... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm not good at spawning things, as you can see, it's entirely empty. But it seems like if I just stay in the vicinity of the area, weather skeletons will spawn around the platforms, not on them, which is odd. But I guess the video I found must have been, like, a bit too old or something. But at least things are spawning, so we are just lagging one more skeleton with a skeleton skull. I might as well uh, let you hang with me for an hour, and I'll show you what I usually just do. Of course, it might not even work now that I am actually doing it on camera. But hey, that's the curse of recording, I guess. So, for starters, let's remember the direction we are heading. And I will be doing exactly what I've done all the other times, just trying to collect experience points using... Ah, of course that would happen. <laughs> um, I guess I won't be doing that then. But we can explore a bit, so that's here, when we need more, and yep, I'm still experiencing lag. It's lovely, isn't it? Ah, now let's try and head back. I probably didn't give them enough to... So... I need to really be freaking careful. Okay, let's not run. Oh yeah, as you can also see, I went back and stock up on bread now, because somehow I managed to eat all the chicken, which is impressive considering how much I had. Um, I don't think we were far enough away. Doesn't sound like anything has spawned. <clears throat> so let's try and head a bit further out. I thought I... Whew. I fought a uh, ghast here as well. Was that on camera or off camera? I don't even remember. But it has left quite some scars on the entire area. Ooh. I don't want to fall there. But yeah, one of the places I explored were... Not here. Over here, down here. Might as well show you where I fought that ghast because it was actually kind of hilarious. You should probably have recorded it, sorry about that. I went down here, and then I went um, up here, I think. Nope, not up here, down here. Because I noticed there was a small crack here where I can drop through. Then up here. I just followed the sound of the gas, and suddenly I was in this closed area where the, a gas had spawned right here, stuck, unable to escape. Which made the battle really, really easy. Also, Apparently, this is right next to the uh, fortress, which surprises me as well. Oh, so much of that lovely lag, huh? 
see if we can get out of here. Also, explored a bit down here, nothing of interest, just more quartz. Quartz. Which by now we have no lack of whatsoever. Anyway, I should be really careful not to die with these wither skulls, because that would that would really suck to put it in a nice manner. So worded with less offensive words. <laughs> Nope, I don't hear any skeletons. That sucks. Huh. Well, then again, they could be standing still, so let's be careful. A lot of these mini. Ah. Uh, zombie Pikmin. Suck me. Zombie Pikmin. Yeah, nothing whatsoever. So I guess I'll try and go back to that other area I cleared out. I can't see a damn thing because it's so dark in the game and it's so bright in my living room. Uh, I also fought some here because apparently this actually works. Sometimes. But it doesn't seem like anything's here at the moment. Hmm. Of course this would happen, as soon as you, you think that uh, you're so close to being done, nothing spawns. Nothing spawns. I also found a different area, was that down here? I think it's down here. Uh, well, more, no, more like I found a way back to uh, our blaze spawner, and I actually marked it with, with these things so that I don't get lost because I had uh, I had a moment where I was just like okay I need to kill something so I went to the spawner and just leveled up a bit also moved things a bit around so that it should be more efficient still need some fixing up but what are you doing in there sir you're going to cause me problems aren't you but yeah I don't want to do that right now or do I I guess we should get the last remaining levels before we return home um, it's not done though, so it's kind of inconvenient. It's you, sir! Very inconvenient placement. So if only one spawned, that's not going to help us a lot at all. I don't really get the rods here, but <laughs> honestly we have like 42 rods, so... I don't think we're lagging them. Oh yeah, I can't get in here. Come up here, sir! I'm over here! Come and get me! Please, attack me. No, I guess not. Hmm. But yeah. Yeah, these are not the guys we're trying to find though. And if I am not incorrect, this entire area is like above or below. Right above or right below the other area, which means that nothing has spawned at the platform. Either that or I am too far away. Which is also a likely scenario, because I don't remember the distance that you have to be from an area. Oh, I can hear a, a ghast. A ghast? Ghast. Ghast. Okay, I missed that. Unfortunate. I'll get it some other time. I can't see a bloody thing. Nothing spawned here. Nothing's despawned here, so I'm guessing nothing spawned either. Which sucks. Because I really need the skeletons. Hmm. Oh, I also went over here and gathered a bit and apparently missed a bit. Well, um. I guess I will cut again until I find more wither skeletons. I suppose. Um, I'm really sorry for these episodes to be so so cutty, cutty. So um, jump so much jumping around. Not like I'm jumping around. I'm doing that too. But in the clips, it's just I I've been on this task for like one and a half hour and really really been bored. <laughs> And I don't think you guys would enjoy watching that, just me wandering about f trying to spawn these damn things. 
I think it would be more entertaining if I just gathered the last Wither Skeleton. Perhaps... I will probably record as soon as I find Wither Skeletons again and then just... show you if I find... a skull. But yeah, I'm fairly sure that that is the better way, the better approach to this, so that you don't have to bother with watching me do all the boring, boring stuff. So, um... Another cut, I guess. Okay, everyone. I decided to. I decided that I needed a bit of a break, so I'm going to execute some other part. Another part of the plan, the part where we go to the roof of the Nether. So, according to the plan, we will have to go to the topmost place that we can find. And uh, fortunately, right near our portal. Whoa, lack. Right near our portal. Uh, I think it was this way. Marking it with torches. Good idea, mass. Good idea. Let's see. Here's our portal. We went up here. In case anyone wants to know. And over here. And over here. Where we came from. And that was my phone that I was stupid enough to yet again not put on sound. On. On soundless? Vibration, whatever. Anyway. I built this, I dock straight up, made a ladder, easiest way to get up, you know. How come when I'm pressing up, but looking down, I'm still going up, that's weird. Oh, I should be careful. Anyway, so we went up, I went up here, dug a bit out, left my stuff in a chest here, so that I won't lose it in the next step of the process. See, you want to find a place where it's really, really far up, and the Best place I could find was probably this or that spot right there. I would pick this one over here. Just because I already dug out the area around it. So we'll be going up here. <clears throat> and I totally went up the wrong way. So I'll be going up here in a moment. Once I fix that problem. Ah, oh, come on. What kind of... I am so great at this game. Did you notice? Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Really, I shouldn't. Okay, let's try this again. We won't need these anymore. I think that's about it. Up here, up here. So we are at layer 125. This should be very close to the top layer. I think the top layer is at 128, according to the wiki. So we might have to go through a, f through a few blocks thick of this, but there is a bug. If I take an ender pearl and point it right here at the corner and throw and jump, that almost killed me. I went through. <laughs> so now we are actually, I should have brought like a torch or something, but okay. Now we are through. And as you can see, this entire place is just empty and nothing can spawn up here because of the fact that uh, this is bedrock nothing can spawn on bedrock so this is actually an, an uh, ideal place if you want to make a farming area or something but yeah what we that was one box to get up here or feature depending on who you ask of course the next box we will be executing is something with whoops I should not use these that will kill me eventually something with trees first we make one grow and it has to be a large tree or this won't work now at some point, given that it has not been fixed, you never know. At some point, the trees were tweaked so that if you did like so, that didn't work, there is a chance that it will grow downwards. And if that happens, nope. Let's hope that they don't fix that didn't fix it because I don't want to be stuck up here. That would be really, really bad for me. That would be bad for my health. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Now as you can see, the tree spawned downwards. So given that, if this has worked properly, yep, as you can see it went through part of the bedrock. Now we want to find a place where it has gone through several layers of bedrock down to a point where we can actually... Um, exploit it to get through. Unfortunately, it does not seem like this one paid off. So we will have to try again. 
And this, this will be a process that we'll have to keep going on until we manage to get a hole through. Which, well, unfortunately, could take a while. Especially if we keep doing that. Uh, let's just get some more saplings. I'm a bit afraid that I may not have brought enough saplings. If that is the case. <laughs> Whoops. I don't want to be stuck up here. I mean, it's exciting to be at the roof of the nether where we're not supposed to be, but... Eh, I don't want to be stuck here. That will mean that I have to die. And the only way I can die is by... Mm, I guess building a high tower and jumping. Pretty much the only way I can think of, since Honka won't kill us. Only almost. So, let's see. I removed those leaves for two reasons. One, so I can see what's going on, and two, because there is a chance of getting more saplings. Ah, damn it. I have two tries more, unless I can f get more saplings from that thing up there. Come on. Ah, come on. Don't do this to me. It seems so easy in theory. This is bad, people. We could actually be stuck here. <laughs> um, one more sapling, please. Just one more sapling. There we go. Oof, this is uh, <laughs> this is this has gotten interesting. This has gotten real interesting. And oh, oh, could this be it? Could this be our savior? The one thing that keeps us from being stuck here. Aha! <laughs> Almost. That's just trolling. How about over here? Goes down. Is that enough? I think it's enough. I think it's enough. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we did it. We got a way in. Now, I would probably want to get rid of all of this first and foremost. Uh, patch up the holes, the unnecessary holes, with something like obsidian so I'll probably go and get some of that before we go back up here again uh, just because obsidian doesn't get blown away and we don't want the wither to accidentally throw something down there I guess and destroy everything everything that's not really anything down there but still did I just fall halfway through the tree that's annoying but yeah, that is how you get to the roof of the nether and make a way back. It's kind of risky if you don't have enough resources. You can see we managed to do it just barely. But it's possible. Using those two boxes. All features depending on who you ask. Now, as for the battle against the wither. Technically, we should not be up here, but what would you rather me do? Fight the wither when I've trapped it in a small chamber where it will suffocate, which isn't even a fight. Or fight the wither in a place where I will never be able to defeat it, which would be a waste of time. Or fight it up here where there's a decent chance that I might be able to defeat him. I know what I will pick. I will go up here. Sorry if you disagree, but it's my let's play and I've chosen it. So yeah, poker off if you don't if you don't agree. Ah. Excellent. Just please stay. <laughs> uh, I'm just removing three because there's no point in having it here. But yeah, I could do that off camera, I guess. Um, I still haven't found any with a skeleton skull since the last two. I must have been extremely lucky with those two because I've been looking for three, four, three and a half hour now. Still nothing. So, yeah, that's why I went up here. A bit change, change of scenery, I guess. Just to avoid getting insane from the whole <laughs> with a skeleton thing. Get in Coco in the Loco! <laughs> or whatever you want to say. But yeah, yeah, that, that, it really, really takes a long time. If you ever want to fight the wither, the wither, be prepared for long, long, long search for wither skeleton skulls. 
Especially if you don't have a looting sword. Which, by the way, people, I have still not gotten, despite having mined out even more quartz and gotten several more levels. Ah, we got a few more swords with the Bane of Anthropod. Or Ath Anthropod? Anthropod? Whatever. The spider killer swords. Which is useless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sucks, really, it sucks. But hey, what you don't do for entertainment. <laughs> anyway, we're almost done with this and we'll just let the rest despawn on its own, I guess. Either way... Yep, here we go. That's it, people. I will be... Uh, Guess I'll be going back down to hunt some more huh, with the skeletons. Yeah. Oh, actually. Might be an idea if I take this stuff with me and just leave this here. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Indeed. Yeah. I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, people, I finally did it. I finally managed to get the last wither skull so that we can finally make the damn wither bus. That took way, way too long. Like, I, I seriously spent more than eight hours the first day. Oh, that was Monday. Um, a good four hours yesterday, and a few hours, uh, an hour today. And my lock has just really sucked. And I still haven't managed to get the damn look at looting sword either. Despite having mi managed to mine out so much nether quartz that it's not even funny anymore. And I've been eating so much mushroom stew as well that I don't think it can in any way have been healthy for us. Simply because I ran out of any other kinds of foods. Ah, well, I did it. I got it. Finally, at long last. Probably should never have taken that long, but I somehow managed to not be able to spawn those damn wither skeletons very often. I think the the nether fortress is it's at fault, but I just I didn't go and look for another one. So anyway, at least it all gave me time to reconsider my ideas as to where to fight the wither boss. I think I will be going for a different pr approach after the, after a bit more research. Because while the idea of fighting him, actually we'll be doing something at the same time we should start brewing. I will explain afterwards why I'm brewing what I am. Um, while it's smart and all to be fighting him at the roof of the nether, I dare say that I don't like the, prop the idea that he can fly away while we're fighting. Even if... I have bow and arrows, I will be fighting him in a much smaller area, but I won't be cheating in any way at all. And I won't be just building a place, I'll just be fighting him in the underground. Anyway, which is also kind of more interesting, I guess. Anyway, Poison of Strength will give us a better chance of hitting him. Glowstone Dust will improve the... will lessen the time it lasts, but will improve the strength of the potion, at least. Uh, also, we will have a potion of swiftness to speed our movements up a bit. Again, with glowstone to improve the not uh, lessen the duration, but improve the effect. Hmm. There we go. Strength two. But uh, yeah. So that would be interesting if my research turns out to to uh, be as good in practice as it is in theory, it will be a very fast, maybe even disappointingly fast uh, battle. If I'm wrong in my calculations, or well, my theories and my research, it could be a painfully long and dangerous thing that we're going to throw ourselves into. After that, after we have made this potion, I will also be brewing a healing 2 potion that is a splash potion, so I can throw it because the wither is an undead boss, and while our smite sword will do will work wonders on him, we can also use healing potions uh, to damage him even more. So we will be doing that. If you're wondering where I got the melon, we have some melon seeds. I planted melons out right outside our door, pretty much. And gold, yeah, we already had gold, so no worries there. 
Um, I actually have some instant healing, interesting enough. But yeah, as for our attempt to get uh, the sword, we got uh, a lot of Bane of Arthrop Arthropod, and knockback swords, and I even got... I even tried a stone sword just because I got so desperate. Didn't work out. Oh, I also died once, only once, thankfully, but I died. So, um, a ghast was shooting at me and I was trying to reflect its balls of doom. Unfortunately, a zombie pigman ran in front of me while I was flailing my arms and I accidentally hit him and his own entire family came and ruined my day. So yay. Thankfully, they all despawned before I returned to get my stuff, so we, that was thankfully not too bad. Anyway, the last potion I'll be making is um, just a regeneration potion, just in case we'll need it. But I don't think we will, since we have the Golden Notch Apple. But we'll see. I would have preferred to have an extra with me, but hopefully I won't need that. Splash Potion of Healing too. That's perfect. Let's uh, get the last ones brewing. I'm really hoping that it's just to assign this to here. We don't need the pickaxe with us. Oh, let's put that back in here, actually. Oh yeah, I got some uh, obsidian and some glass just in case we, or well, when we need to make the beacon, so we have it. Here's the potion of regeneration. Might as well improve the not duration, but uh, effect. How I many? We don't have enough to build a pyramid for the. Uh, the beacon, but we can build the beacon on less, so that's something. And once we fought the wither, I actually think that's pretty much the serious finale right there, because I can't think of anything to do after that. Hmm, interestingly enough. Of course, you're welcome to write in the comments if you can think of anything, but yeah, I can't, actually, interestingly. Um, but yeah. I would be putting these in here because I don't need to take them into battle. I think we're pretty set. I don't have any I don't have any blast protection. That kind of worries me. We could uh, actually protection, protection. If I'm lucky, I can get a blast protection and put it on my my helmet. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Come on, there we go. One might be lucky. One might also have the same luck that I do, which means they're not lucky at all. Hmm, ah, she'll bring some torches. Ah, she'll bring some torches with me. Here we go. But yeah, getting those skulls took way too long, even for me. Ah, uh, let's see, efficiency. Sharpness, power, sharpness, and protection. Yep, that didn't work at all. I should probably not have used all my levels there. Hmm. Oh well. Efficiency, sharpness, power, sharpness, protection. Yep. Anyway, I think we're pretty much set for the battle now. So I'll be showing you where we are going in that case. We will be going underground, as they were saying. I don't need the torch. I'll bring the torch just because I can. Might need them, who knows. But yeah, I will be uh, going to that place. I found the... <laughs> I figured out how to navigate through the, the cave maze where I was getting frustrated and desperate and couldn't get out. I figured out how... I, I made some pretty good ways to pretty uh, clear markings as to how to get out, so we'll be going... Did I hear a skeleton? Hmm. I did. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll be going down here. Where are they? Hmm. And we will be fighting him in here. Ooh. I forgot there was lava here. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, I keep forgetting in here. And I made this. That's your pieces to see. Not that it's right here, it's right across the corner, th past the one block uh, pillar of gravel, up here, and to the right, up there. 
That is where we'll be fighting Savither. Buzz, Savither Buzz. Just be putting a bit more light because it's kind of dark and he will probably uh, destroy the torches anyway. Um, eat a bit before we do this. This is scary, actually. This is pretty, pretty scary. Okay. Okay. Here goes. Will the boss fight? I should get away from him. He's powering up. Can I make it? I hope I can. I can. I can. Okay, here we go. Here we go.